What's up everybody, welcome to BioWatch 3 Raw TV. Tonight we're going to do a little talk action, and we can do that with our best Hodge Twins voice. Be like, little talk action, yeah. I, those guys fucking guys crack me up. Anyways, tonight I want to kind of discuss something that, um, it definitely gets on my fucking nerves. And part of it is because when people come to me, they'll ask me questions about food, diet, training, whatever the case may be. And a lot of times they'll say, well, I heard this, and this is where I heard it. So-and-so said this, right? And I'm like, well, who the fuck is so-and-so? Like, what kind of fucking expert are they on this? What the fuck do they know? How long have they been doing this? They haven't even fucking read anything about what the fuck they're talking about. Or are they just ignorant as fuck? Now, I'll be the first one to admit, there's a lot of things in this fucking world I'm ignorant about. Food is absolutely fucking not one of them. Training is absolutely not one of them. Steroids is absolutely not one of them. Supplements is absolutely not You guys get the fucking picture. Anyways, I have been speaking out now for years about... Sweeteners such as aspartame, that's the one that fucking I really don't like because of how my body, my wife's body, clients' bodies respond to that shit. As well as preservatives and chemicals they put in the food that should not even be there, be there which things like Chick-fil-A actually do have chemicals in the food to the point where schools will not allow Chick-fil-A in there because of the fact that it has the chemicals that can actually impair kids while they're growing. This is legit. Look it up. I mean, people who snoops, snoops your ass. Fucking go for it, dude, because it's legit true. These chemicals are in the fucking food. Now, the latest one is something that I, of course, ate in college, and I think most of us ate in college. Some of us eat it now, but this is specifically geared towards the fucking IIFYM crew. Now, I'm not saying all these IFYM people are fucking nuts. What I'm saying is many of them are fucking delusional, fucking ignorant, and fucking stupid. Plain and simple. They think nothing fucking matters. They're just like... The world is a fucking, the world is a food. I could take a bite out of the world and it's fine. They don't give a fuck. They think that every single thing they put in their mouth is absolutely fine and they're going to be okay and there's nothing wrong with it. Now, not everybody's going to fucking drop dead from what they put in their mouth. However, here's the problem. Right now, they're not eating just one little, not having a can of Diet Coke. They're having four cans of Diet Coke a day, eating some kind of weird processed fucking meats, chomping down on fucking trans fats, loading up on fucking sugars. They're doing all this stuff, counting their macros thinking none of it's going to affect them. And when they're young, none of it affects them. However, one of the worst man-made diseases that we have in America is type 2 diabetes. And technically, you are not born with that. It's not type 1 where you're insulin dependent. You develop this over time. Now, some of it is genetic related where your body can't handle um, the stress from certain foods. You will become type 2 diabetic. But here's the kicker. Many times type 2 diabetes can be reversed by diet. You don't need medications. Changing your diet can reverse it, which is what fucked you up in the first place by what you were eating. That being said, Harvard scientists reveal, Harvard scientists, now before you get Harvard, okay, it's a pretty big school up there in like New England. Anyways, reveal the damage instant noodles cause and it will leave you in shock. Instant noodles, those fucking Raymond noodle motherfuckers. My mom used to buy those and send them to me in college all the time. You'd buy like a whole package for like 13 cents or some shit like that, right? Dump water in them, they taste good, whatever, cheap. Um, they talk about the instant noodles being um, popularity is proven the fact that 95 billion servings of instant noodles are being consumed around the world each year. It's a lot of fucking instant noodles. Popularity comes from many features. They're cheap. They have great sh uh, shelf life, a long shelf life. Think about why they would have a long shelf life. Think about those, um, those hamburgers from McDonald's and Burger King and Wendy's and shit that they leave out in the open for years and they don't rot. Think about that. Long shelf life and why food has fucking a time limit on how long it'll fucking last. No matter how well you seal it, can it, whatever. Without those chemicals and preservatives, that shit fucking rots. Unless it's not real food. Now, that being said, there's different flavors. There's so many different ways to make them. Fuck, what are you different ways to make them? Put them in the fucking microwave. Anyways, um, it says, even though they can fill your calorie need, they are not full of nutrients. This is proven by their low levels of protein, low levels of fiber, vitamins and minerals, Instant noodles are also really high in saturated fats and carbohydrates. Now, we're getting into this. This is, you know, the macros are not really what the issue is, okay? Even though they're low in protein, low in fiber, you could still make the argument, I'm doing AFYM, so I get my fiber and my protein from other places. Fine, okay. Take the argument, fuck it, turn it sideways, shove it up your ass, and fuck it, pull it out of your mouth, because that's the only argument you have compared to what we're about to talk to. Now, instant noodles connection to different diseases have been proven many times. There's studies that actually prove that they can fuck you up. Consumed regularly okay not in large amounts but regularly which some motherfuckers consume some of the shit regularly now for example a study conducted by harvard university it's harvard again you guys remember that place anyways harvard scientists that researched the impact and instant noodles on health came to a result 
not many of us want to believe. Regular instant noodle consumption increases the risk of developing metabolic syndrome. Okay, not diabetes, metabolic syndrome. Which means having health problems such as high blood pressure, high blood sugar, and increased uh, risk of heart disease, stroke, and diabetes. Those are the things that we're seeing the most in America. The biggest health problems right there. High blood pressure, high blood sugar, which is technically type 2 diabetes. Increased risk of heart disease, heart attack, right? Stroke and, uh, stroke and heart attacks. Now, and diabetes. The risk of metabolic syndrome does not depend on lifestyle, which means that the probability of otherwise healthy and fit people falling ill is the same as unhealthy and unfit persons. Which means that even if you're working out, even if you watch your diet, if you consume this shit regularly enough, you will have high blood pressure. Not everybody's going to have the same thing. You're not going to have all of these, right? But you may have high blood pressure and not know why. You may have problems with your blood sugar and not know why. Like, it doesn't matter whether you're working out and you're paying attention to your diet, you overconsume these fucking chemicals. And I'm not talking about just with the Raymond noodles. These chemicals that are in the fucking food, you will develop these problems. I know people that, and these IF Wemmers are just as fucking bad. They'll go work out and then I see them smoking cigarettes outside their fucking car. And I'm like, you're trying to be healthier, but you're doing something that fucking completely reverses what the fuck you're doing in the gym. Like, they just don't get it. They think as long as you go to the gym, as long as you hit your macros, you're fucking good. Nothing could be further from the fucking truth. But the problem is when you're young, this shit doesn't show up. I remember. Remember me, Jerry, I abused the fuck out of my body. Alcohol, drugs, steroids, fucking pro wrestling getting dropped on my fucking head, fucking my spine up. Like, I did all that shit when I was younger, was able to fucking recover and be fine. It wasn't until I started hitting my 30s that shit started to fucking happen that I was like, what the fuck is going on? I had to start looking into this shit. Now, um, in addition to metabolic syndrome, it has been proven that instant noodles can increase the risk of many other diseases, for example, heart disease and stroke. The diseases that are caused in, by the substance found in instant noodles called tet, tet, tire, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fucking completely butcher this thing. Terati butyl hydroequinone, TBHQ, just look up TBHQ, okay? which is used as a food additive to preserve cheap processed foods. It's actually a byproduct of the petroleum industry and can do a lot of harm to your health. Um, Dr. Haiyan Shin, one scientist of the Harvard study, said that it does not, of course, mean that every person who eats instant noodles falls ill. But he emphasized that instant noodles are highly processed because of the way they cannot be considered healthy foods. Okay, because of the way that they're produced. Now, this goes with everything else out there, right? When you see these foods that you're eating, IF Whammers, and you start looking at the chemicals that are in there, right? Some of these companies don't have to list the chemicals because they're not food. The chemicals themselves are not food. So they don't have to be listed as food or additives. They can just say preservatives, additives. They're not telling you exactly what's in it, right? So for you to actually get that information, you actually have to dig. But the person that's having the Diet Coke, eating the Raymond fucking noodles, eating these fucking processed meats, like I've had people fucking drives me nuts. Turkey sliced, okay? Sliced turkey. I had a client who used to eat sliced turkey, right? And that's what she was eating for most of her protein. And I was like, sliced turkey? I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, have you ever tried anything else? Well, this is just so easy to eat. It tastes so good. Well, yeah, it's loaded with preservatives, loaded with fucking salt, of course, right? When's the last time you saw anything in nature walk up to you a turkey and it wasn't a goddamn fucking giant square block? That is not a fucking turkey, okay? That is turkey meat that's been processed and built into fucking Play-Doh with sugar and fucking salt and all kinds of weird shit. And you eat it. Because you were taught as a kid, sliced turkey, is, they used to slice turkey like like turkey. Like you know, they slice it off an actual turkey. That's what they used to make turkey sandwiches with. This shit that they have nowadays is this weird processed shit. So, so many people are ingesting this shit and what they don't realize it's the compounded effect over time of these foods leads to problems when they're older. Now, they don't give a fuck because they're young. They don't give a rat's ass because they feel fine. It's not going to happen to me. But here's the problem. When you see those motherfuckers 20 years from now and they're sitting on, I mean, sitting on a couch, taking their blood pressure medication in the morning, their triglyceride medication, their cholesterol medication. When they travel, they have like a fucking kit with 10 bottles in it that they have to fucking travel with because they can't leave medications at home because they need them not to fucking die. And they don't even think about the fact that if they had fucking lived a healthier life before or changed their lifestyle when these problems started to happen, if it wasn't too late, these things could be reversed. I look at myself who's 42 years old, which, you know, I'm not old as fuck, but I'm not a spring chicken anymore. Abused my body with fucking heroin, opiates, took fucking risks left and right, the steroids, fucking, you name it. I was doing, eating all kinds of fucking McDonald's and garbage, all this shit for years and years and years. And could not figure out why my blood pressure was always borderline high, why my cholesterol was high at a young age. Didn't know this shit, right? As I started to get older, I started to feel like shit. I started to feel ill, right? I'm like, why the fuck do I feel like such shit? 
Lo and behold, I don't believe anything doesn't happen for a reason. I believe everything happens for a reason. I tore my rotator cuff, cleaned up my diet completely while I wasn't training so that I wouldn't actually get fatter and felt like a million fucking dollars. I did Dave Palumbo's detox for 30 days. When I was done, I was like, holy shit, I'm never going back to eating that fucking garbage again. And I haven't. Once a week, I go out with my wife, Erin, and I have a meal. I have a few desserts with the meal. And then on um, Sundays, what I do is my cheat day. I have Elevation Burger, which is a very, very clean fucking food. And I'll have, um, instead of having like the, the most random, disgusting shit, if I decide I'm going to have something like gummy bears, I get the organic juice gummy bears, which actually is made with organic gelatin instead of the carnauba wax and bullshit. Like, I've actually made better choices. Well, lo and behold, here I am at 42. I need less sleep. I get sick fucking hardly ever. I may get hit with the flu twice this year, which sucked. But I got over and recovered faster than the other people around me. I have energy all the fucking time. I feel great in the morning, fucking in the afternoon. I get a little tired at night, but... That's at 42. I feel better than I did at 35. And I feel better than a lot of 25-year-olds do right fucking now. And it's because of the way I eat. It's because I've tried to reduce the chemicals as much as I can. Try to reduce the sweeteners as much as I can. Try to drink only water. I'm not drinking any of these fucking carbonated drinks. All this random bullshit. And these things have made a huge impact in my life, my wife's life, my client's life. And I see it over and over again. And it's usually the younger people, the IIFYM, because they've been told, even the people who invented IIFYM said it was never intended to be Pop-Tarts and gummy bears and bullshit like that. It was intended to be a sweet potato rather than oatmeal. Rice instead of a baked potato. That's what it was intended for. But of course, people fucking twist shit and they rationalize shit and get whatever they want out of it. All of a sudden it became Pop-Tarts and bullshit. And they go, well, see, this person did it and they got in shape. So therefore, it doesn't fucking matter. And I'm sitting here going, you're right. Here's the thing. You're following the fitness industry because that's not the health industry, right? Fitness. All you give a fuck is about is Instagram and how you look. And you can look better eating Pop-Tarts and all that random shit if you restrict the fuck out of your calories and do enough cardio. However, when your blood work comes back fucked up for the first time and you ignore it, when you start having these problems and wind up going to fucking doctor visit after doctor visit, having to take fucking medications to be normal and take another medication because that medication has a side effect and you have to stay on it because of this and that fucking medication undoes that side effect. And guess what? This one has another side effect, so you need another medication. You're going to be here, sitting here going, well, you know, that's just how it is when I get older. No, it does not have to fucking be that way. I'm telling you right now, it does not have to be that way. I have fucking seen it over and over again. And I hope that someone out there right now is fucking listening to this and it sticks in their fucking head. So eventually, someday, when they get to the point where they're like, what do I do? They'll go, fuck, I remember. Jerry was actually talking about this before. Or they won't even remember. It's me. I don't give a fuck. But they'll be like, yeah, I remember hearing before. If I clean up my diet and stop eating like an asshole, I can get off these drugs and fucking feel better. And then fucking do it. Biosetraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.biosetraining.com is the vlog. It's the feel better bicep. And we are out.